Hello everybody, here's my mama and she's gonna be making her apple cinnamon muffins for y'all today. But here's all the ingredients and everything that you'll need. I'll let her walk you through it step by step. So as long as you can follow along, it should be easy to make. Okay, we need our muffin pans. This is gonna be a muffin. Uh, we need our uh, spray oil to uh, spray in our pan. We need the, um, uh, what do you call them? Cinnamon, cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon rolls. We need uh, pie filling, apple pie filling. We need our cinnamon. And then to top it off for our streusel, we need sugar, um, flour, and butter. So, but we'll start with the muffins first. And you'll need a bowl to yeah. mix it all in. You need a bowl and something to mash the strudels up in here. And that's everything that you'll need. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna open this. And you need your rolling pin, unless you want to mash it out with your hands. Uh, and these are sticky, so you might need a piece of parchment paper to put on top of them to keep them from sticking to your hands or to, to it'll stop them from sticking to the rolling pin. Yeah. So, and then I'm gonna lay them all out on the, right here on this. And then I'm gonna put the parchment paper over them and roll them out. And they are sticky. And they are good. <laughs> Anything with cinnamon in is good. Cinnamon and apples, all that's good. And then we have our uh, uh, glaze that we put over top of it after we get finished. Yeah, that comes in the back with the uh, yeah with these. But Mama has her own uh, homemade glaze. If y'all haven't seen that, you could find her homemade like icing, glazing icing or whatever you call it. Uh, you could find that on the playlist. that says my Mama's secret recipes. If glaze. you didn't, yeah. If you didn't have the glaze, then you could uh, make Mama's glaze. And here's what I'm gonna do. We go with this. I need my little trash can right here, don't I? And then I'm gonna put the parchment paper on here, and then we're gonna roll it out. But I'm gonna turn it this way. And just roll them out so they'll fit in the pie pan or muffin pan, flatten them out. And this is going to be like the crust of it, of your apples. We flattened it out. Now we're going to spray our pan. And then we're gonna mash these down in there. Try to keep them together if you can. These wouldn't fall apart. You just put it down in there. These muffin pans are bigger than the, than these. So yeah, these are bigger than normal yeah. muffin pans. These are huge muffins. And if it does fall apart, I'm sure it's not that big deal. Yeah. It wouldn't hurt too much. It'll probably still taste the same. Yeah. It just won't look as nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Papa went to the jail ministry today. He goes once a month to the jail to preach, him and his friend. So, they asked me, he said, well, why don't you go and do the women? I said, God didn't call me for that. <laughs> and what you do when you put these in here, you put the apples in on top of it. In the very top, once you mix all the stuff together, and it's like a crumble almost, and it's called a streusel. Yeah. So it'll be like a cinnamon streusel that goes on top. But she'll show you how to make that here in just a second. And then you take and put your apples in there. Just 
Just lay them down in there. And I'm gonna do them all. I guess we'll just do this to show them, won't we? And then we'll do other ones later. Yeah. So it will take up so much time. We'll do one one row and we do other row off the uh, film, off the video. That's a big piece of apple there. That's a half an apple in that yeah. one. I remember when we was little, we used to go out and get the little green apples off the tree and put salt on them. And mom would say, now y'all can't eat too many of them, you get a belly ache. Now we're gonna make the streusel to go on it. So you use uh, some flour, just how, just how much ever you think. I'm just eyeballing it again. And your sugar. I don't think there's a specific uh, recipe that I know of that uh, tells exactly how much to use, but. No, he just put it in there like that, what, what I see them do. Oh, you can just eyeball it, probably yeah. a couple teaspoons or a couple tablespoons of cinnamon. Yeah. Maybe a quarter I'll cup of sugar, a half I'll cup of flour. Whatever you like your cinnamon taste. Yeah, like that, that'd be good. And then a half a stick of butter. Or about a half a stick. Yeah. And then you just kind of mash this up together. <laughs> and I never made this before. I seen it and I said, mm, that looks good. But I didn't have one of them. Uh, I don't have one of them, what he had, to try to mash this up together. So I thought, this is my potato masher. You improvise when you're in the kitchen. If you don't have something, you improvise. Ain't that what they say? That's what my mom used to say all the time. We'll just improvise this. It's not okay. supposed to be a liquidy. It's supposed to be a crumbly. Cause... Yeah, it's a crumble thing, yeah. Then you take your hands and try to match it around in there. So it'd look like a crumble. I might have to put the other stick of butter in here, or half a stick, because you don't want to crumble very much. You put a little bit more butter. On the video, it looked like he had probably two sticks of butter in there, oh, but yeah. he had a lot more flour and sugar yeah. and stuff. And we just got these six, well, we're gonna do six more, or eight, I think that's what it calls for. But I like trying new recipes. Something I've been meaning to tell y'all while she's mixing that still is uh, to make sure to check and see if you're still subscribed because just last night we lost probably 20 or 30 subscribers just overnight for no reason that I can think of. We didn't really upload a video or nothing yesterday. I'm pretty sure we didn't upload no video yesterday and we still dropped uh, 20 subscribers. Yeah, I think all we done yesterday was our preaching, wasn't it? Yeah, so y'all make sure to double check and see if y'all still subscribe because YouTube does make people unsubscribe randomly. And I think that's what happened last night. It unsubscribed a few people. So y'all make sure to double check. We love y'all and God bless y'all. Yes, we do. And we thank y'all for everything, for supporting us the way you do. For loving us the way you do. Yeah, for All everything y'all do works. for us. Yeah. Okay, let me see. I think this is about it. Now make sure to share us on Facebook if you have Facebook. It helps us out a lot. Yeah. Now make sure to go check out the merch shop. We do have a uh, new stuff up now. We got Scrappy merch up with the cart cartoon version of Scrappy. Yeah, we just learned how to do all this stuff, so we'll learn a li little bit more every day. Well, in my cookbook, I'm supposed to go tomorrow and pick it up. So and we'll have to figure out how to do that to get it out to everybody that wants one. It's taking more time than I thought it would, ain't it? Looks so simple. Okay, there it is. See how, see how crumbly it is? It's like little chunks in there. Yeah, little chunk like. It's almost like a really big pieces of breadcrumbs. <laughs> yeah. From Scrappy. 
Did you get out? We was trying to preach yesterday, and he goes under the table and get, gets it between Milton's legs and starts pawing Milton's legs, wanting Milton to pick him up every time. And Corey had to take him in his room. Jackie wasn't here. So, so now all you do is put a little bit on top of here, a little bit of your crumble. And then when you bake it, you bake it on, uh, what would I say, three, 400. You bake it on 400 and uh, for 20 minutes. And then you take it out and we'll put the streusel on it or you can put ice cream on it, whichever you like. Okay, there it is. We're gonna put it in the oven on 400. I'm gonna we'll put the glaze on there whenever we and come back in the next part of the video yeah. and we'll show y'all how to whenever she's getting it out we'll cut back in and y'all make sure to tune in for that part and i believe i got yep i put my skillets in here these are the ones that i use the most yeah we just keep them in there to get them out of the way sometimes yeah, so it's on 400 400 for 20 minutes we'll probably go put this in might take a little longer since i forgot to um, preheat it. Preheat it. Uh, it wasn't preheated, but right now it's just 100, but it, it'll go to 400. Yeah, let's hope it turns out right. <laughs> yeah, and uh, so, it should, so. But we'll take it out in about 20, 25 minutes. We'll see. And then uh, he'll put us back on. <laughs> yeah, and we'll be right back. Love y'all. Yes, we do. All right, we're back. She's going to take it out of the oven for y'all now and uh, show y'all what it looks like afterwards. This is what it'll look like after it's fully cooked. They're roasting hot. We're gonna try to get them out and put them in the plate here. And here's some we air fried. Yeah, this is the air fryer edition. And these are apple, apple pop, cinnamon apple pop muffins. I think that's what it's called at least. Which one do y'all think looks better? The oven or the air fryer? Sorry for the shadow. Let us know in the comments which one y'all would pick. And here's the glazed stuff that you're supposed to pour over them. Yeah, it comes in the pack with the cinnamon. Hot, hot, hot. Yeah, we're going to try to get them out here. Oops, tore it apart. Yeah, we're trying to get them out so we can show you. Mm -hmm. They are hot. I think this will look better for the picture anyway, put it like this. And then we're gonna... This is the last step. Yeah, then you put the cream over it. The drizzle. There we go. And if you get the cinnamon things and it doesn't come with this stuff in there, then you could look up Mama's recipe for this stuff, yeah. the drizzle. And there won't be no tasting cause <laughs> it is hot. That's too hot to try, it's like yeah. molten lava in there. Yeah. So, but there we have our cinnamon, apple cinnamon muffins and they are good. So, but uh, we won't uh, taste them because they're red hot. And uh, so we'll, I'll pray for you. And then we'll uh, see you in the next uh, video. Did you show them the air fry ones? Yeah, I already showed them. Oh, okay. Here's the prayer book if y'all have any uh, prayer requests.
Yeah, here's the book that we put all the prayer requests in. Uh, uh, on the comments or when you send me a letter or something and you want something prayed for, then I put it in here. So, dear Lord Jesus, we just come to you right now, Lord, just thanking you and praising you for your love and your mercy, Lord, for always being there with us, Lord. Uh, we just ask you, Lord, to touch each one that's in this prayer book, Lord, each one that needs a prayer, Lord, we just ask you to touch them, Lord, for healing, for finances, Lord, whatever it may be, Lord Jesus, for their children, Lord. Uh, Lord, and we just ask you to touch the lost out there that don't know you, Lord. Open their eyes up to you, Lord. Let them see that they need you, Lord. In your mighty name we pray, Lord. And we give you the honor and the glory for everything, Lord. Amen. Thank you for our YouTube family. So, so that'll be it until the next time. Yeah, that's all for this one. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Let us know in the comments if y'all made this before or if y'all have a different way that y'all make it or if you plan to make it after this video. But we love y'all, and God bless y'all. Make sure to like and subscribe, and uh, share us to Facebook if you have yeah. Facebook, or share us on anything y'all want to, and make sure to check out the merch that we got. Yeah. It's, uh, the link is in the description of this channel. If you click that link, it'll, it'll take you there, so you can check it out, and it would really help us a lot, and we do really appreciate everything that y'all do for us. And I guess tomorrow we'll go and pick up our cookbook, and we'll be telling you how we're going to do that whoever wants one. So we'll see you in the next one. Y'all have a good evening. Love y'all. Take mm -hmm. care. Well, we love y'all. God bless y'all. We'll see y'all in the next one. Amen.